I'm the lead game designer from Project Seed. I'm Kok Tong. So today I'm here to talk about the future of gaming and how it relates to the blockchain. So before we talk about the future of gaming, firstly, we have to look at the past and present of gaming. So in the past and present, we will see that there's a ways of market for digital goods, whereby if you even have a rudimentary trading system in the game, there's always somebody that will do set up a third party uh, trading site where you can buy and sell digital goods. What this means for us is on the blockchain market, we can actually do it on the most secure manner, and this is a niche that we can try to fulfill. Right, so a question comes to this. Uh, why, can't we, uh, why can't modern blockchain games capture this state market? And one of the reasons will be that uh, if you look at the community today, many of the people are actually looking at how they can earn from playing the games. And instead of uh, trying to get NFTs that can make them more powerful, make them better in the game itself that they choose to play, so they are not playing the game out of intrinsic fun value. And that is something very important for us. Right, so there's a lack of appeal. So one of the, pro the problems with the current blockchain market is that there's lack of appeal in blockchain gaming, whereby there's a low entertainment value for these type of games. Many of the games are, uh, lack, have a lack of gameplay that can attract players to stay for the long term. And there's also a case whereby most of these type of games are actually pay to play, whereby you need to buy an NFT before you start playing. And this creates a barrier, as most of the games today are actually free to play. So by being paid to play, you're actually blocking away a lot of the gamers that could have joined your market. And next thing is that there's also a lack of quality titles and also a lack of cutting edge graphics, whereby uh, if you look at modern AAA games, they actually invest a lot of money in these type of things because they know that packaging is um, not everything, but it helps you win half of the battle, right? And lastly is that there's a vulnerable in-game economy that in uh, most of the blockchain games today uh, exist, whereby they only focus on the cryptocurrency and they are not uh, trying to insulate the, currency, uh, insulate the economy with multiple layers of currency and materials such that it forms a more robust economy for the gameplay and the gamers. Right, so we are now talking about solutions and at Project Seed, we believe that the solution lies in our developers. So we are hiring people from all over the world uh, with different expertise in game development so that with this we can be assured that we have a team that's ready to make games for the gamers, right? So next thing is that we have to be gameplay focused. We have to make sure that the games are for gamers first such that they, the player can have fun with the game and they'll stay for the long term. And that's very important because uh, being in the game for intrinsic fun will be a longer lasting uh, benefit for all of us, right? And uh, finally, it's the free to pay and earn aspect, the game has to be free to play in order to make sure that we can attract as many audiences as possible to capture the free to play crowd. At the same time, we can allow them to start earning a little bit of the cryptocurrency such that we can actually bring them forward to join us in the crypto market space. So our goal is to bring up as many people as we can into our ecosystem. Right, sorry. So a little bit of our trailers.
Right, so you have seen Outland Odyssey. So Outland Odyssey is an action RPG powered by the blockchain and it is completely free to play. You do not need uh, any knowledge with the blockchain or not even a wallet to start playing. And that's our goal to reduce the barrier of entry for every player. Right, so in the game, the player will go on quests to hunt down powerful creatures and go on multiple epic quests and adventures. And through these adventures, they will hunt down creatures that will give them materials that can let them craft powerful equipments, as well as tame all these mighty creatures that can found in the wild. And all of these creatures and equipment can be converted into NFTs, can be minted into NFTs through the game. And at the same time, there will be multiple game modes in the game, whereby it's not just questing alone, there are PvP, there will be tower system. Basically, we are trying to make the gameplay more varied for the player base and to also be able to challenge traditional gaming. Uh, yeah. Right, so you, uh, one important thing is that you can earn SHU and O2 token, which is our native token, while playing the game. So for the SHU token, it's our governance token, where uh, it will be given out in limited supply to the best player for in the community. Well, for the Outland Odyssey token, or the O2 token for short, is a token that will be given out on a more daily basis to every player that plays the game, regardless whether they're free to play or not. And this will be used in various uh, methods in the game, for example, crafting, uh, uh, upgrading things, for example. And both of these tokens will be used in the process of minting an object as well. Right. So uh, by owning an NFT, you also will have in-game benefits, and that's something that we are very passionate about. Because by having in-game benefits, it will give a purpose for the players to want to mint the NFTs. So the first thing is that they will be given stat bonuses, which this mean, what this means is that uh, they can make their favorite equipment or monsters become even stronger. Yeah. And the next thing is that, uh, just how I mentioned, that there's a limited amount of O2 that can be gained per day for every player. So by owning NFT and having better and stronger NFTs, they will be able to increase this cap and gain more. So basically, the more NFT they own, the more things they can get per day. Right, so a little bit about our project six vision is that we are looking to grow into several different games throughout the next couple of years. And why we are making separate uh, multiple different games is that we want to make this game into a multi-chain economy, whereby we can use one NFT to be used in any of these games within our ecosystem. So basically it's all for one and one for all, whereby uh, the players can basically bring forward and backward their NFT regardless of which game they, are, they like to play. Right, so uh, thank you guys. Uh, you can find, us more, find, out, find out more about us at our booth over there. And you can also scan this QR code to uh, follow us on our social media. Thank you very much.